Hello everyone, today I am going to present a reduced order model based on the gradient optimization for two dimensional scramjet inlet. The work was done along with my counterpart Sumit Lonkar under the guidance of Professor Pratikash Panda in the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Hypersonic air breathing engine have been a new milestone in aerospace propulsion. The payload carrying capacity of a scramjet powered hypersonic vehicle is higher as it eliminates the storage of oxidizer. The efficiency of such engine depends significantly on the performance of their intakes. The main component of a scramjet inlet are shown in the figure, which includes the intake or inlet section, an isolated section between inlet and combustor. It provides the further compression needed after the inlet to match the pressure rise caused by the heat release inside the combustor. A number of configuration of intake geometry have been suggested in the past to compress the incoming air at high flight Mach number. The flow is compressed across the shock system gradually compressing the flow to a desired compression ratio. The shock system results in a stagnation pressure loss which depends on the deflection angle. Therefore, it is desired to find the set of ramp angle and the cowl angle for which we have maximum intake efficiency. The current study focused on designing a two-dimensional scramjet inlet for N ramps and M cowls. The problem is formulated to minimize the total pressure loss across the series of shock. In this study, we report the effect of number of ramps, cowl, and the uh, pressure compression ratio and the Mach number. In this study, the effect of boundary layer is neglected. The air is assumed to be an idle gas. Also, the leading edge is considered to be sharp. Various parameters are used to quantify the inlet efficiency, including kinetic energy efficiency, normalized entropy rise, and stagnation pressure recovery, among which stagnation pressure recovery is widely used. The main objective of the study was to find a deflection angle such that the flow must undergo a minimum stagnation pressure loss. The problem was solved by formulating it as a constraint optimization problem with constraint that the pressure rise across the series of shock must be equal to the desired compression ratio. It is also required that the flow must enter parallel to the internal duct. Therefore, the deflection produced by the ramps must be equal to the deflection produced by the cowl. The algorithm for intake optimization is summarized here. For a level cruise flight at fixed Mach number and number of ramp and cowl with desired compression ratio, the decision variable are the deflection angle which are calculated by gradient based optimization method. Sequential gradient optimization toolbox in MATLAB was used for the calculation. Once the deflection angle are known, the flow property is calculated based on the upstream Mach number and the deflection angle. The ram geometry can be calculated using wave angle and the deflection angle. It is assumed that the upstream shock shields the downstream shock to provide the desired compression ratio. The design of cowl geometry can be generated similar to the ram geometry by using deflection and wave angle using simple trigonometric relations. Figure shows the variation of stagnation pressure recovery with the intake length. The intake length is normalized with the height of capture area. It is reported that total pressure recovery depends linearly up to a certain intake length and is independent on the number of ramps. The black dotted lines shows the locus of maximum pressure recovery for a given intake geometry as is shown in figure. The maximum pressure recovery increases with increase in number of ramp due to gradual turning of flow across the series of shock. For instance, for a flight Mach number of 6 with a desired pressure ratio of 50 and number of cowl 2, with an increase in number of ramp from 2 to 3, there is a 18.2 percent increase in peak stagnation pressure recovery factor but with a penalty of 17.5 percent increase in intake length however for a fixed intake length a corresponding increase in number of ram from 2 to 3 there is an improvement of 12.8 percent stagnation pressure recovery figure shows the comparison of stagnation pressure recovery for a flat cowl and two cowl geometries the effect of increasing the number of cowl on stagnation pressure recovery is found to be superior as compared to the increase in number of ramp. For instance, for a flight Mach number of 6 with a desired compression ratio of 50 and number of ramp 2, 
with an increase in number of cowl from 1 to 2, there is an increase in 32% increase in peak stagnation pressure recovery. Apart from geometrical parameters, flow parameters also play a significant role in determining the stagnation pressure loss. Compression ratio have a significant impact on stagnation pressure loss. For a given ramp geometry and fixed flight number, as we allow the compression ratio across the inlet to increase, this will require a strong shock to provide a compression ratio for a given number of shock, therefore lowering the stagnation pressure recovery. Free stream Mach number also plays an important role in determining the pressure recovery and the intake length. At higher Mach number for a given compression ratio and given number of ramp and cowl, the length of the intake increases with increase in Mach number. This is due to the fact that for a given deflection angle, the pressure rise increases with a free stream Mach number. This results in a steeper geometry for a given height of the capture area. To compare the performance of single cowl with two cowl geometry, a test case was considered. The number of ramp was considered as 3 with number of cowl as 2. The compression ratio was considered to be 52 and the flow condition was calculated based on the flight altitude of 30 km. Based on the optimization code, the geometry is generated as shown in figure. This geometry is similar to Torres design. A two-dimensional dance base simulation was performed to find the flow field across the stamp jet inlet. K Omega SST turbulence model was chosen the pressure contour predicts the uh, pressure rise across the inlet with an accuracy of 0.5%. A comparative study was performed to compare the single cowl geometry with a two cowl geometry. It, it is shown that the two cowl geometry provides a 32% higher recovery as compared to a single cowl. Finally, the key outcome of the current study are as follows. Studying the effect of geometrical and flow parameter on the pressure recovery and the overall intake length. Two cowl geometry performed better as compared to single cowl intake. The future work includes analyzing the effect of accelerating flight and the effect of angle of attack on the intake performance. Finally, author would like to acknowledge the Prime Minister Research Fellowship for funding the project. Thank you.